pulling double duty these days. You will recognize his voice, perhaps, from ABC's Secret Millionaire. You will absolutely recognize his high wattage smile from his days on L.A. Law. And you will never forget him if you see him in the Broadway revival of A Streetcar Named Desire. Please welcome Blair Underwood. <laughs> Blair, great to have you. Oh, man. Um, Thank you. Hard to believe. Your Broadway debut, right down there, Streetcar Named Desire, yeah. uh, eight shows a week. They are not kidding. How you holding up? They are not playing. Um, you know what? We've been doing it for three and a half months now, so we're kind of in that, that rhythm. Sure. You kind of get yeah. conditioned. Your body, your voice, it, everything gets conditioned. So, so we're doing okay. We only have another week and a half, so we're winding down. And, uh, really? It's, it's, been, it's been incredible. We are literally, what, a stone's throw? I think we're right, I know. right down there. Well, that's why we should meet for lunch. <laughs> this is for the <laughs> You said it. Um, you have to come to the show. I haven't seen you guys there I, We are so there. I was trying yeah, to orchestrate. Believe me, I'll You're be really like going to have to beg her. <laughs> ask, ask really nicely, bro. Um, you know, this is a, an iconic play, Tennessee Williams. Yeah. How does it feel to follow in the footsteps of, you know, just the greats? Starting you know, with Marlon Brando. with Marlon Brando, of course. Um, it's, it's been incredible. Intimidating, to say the least. I mean, walking into that. I mean, what most people remember if they don't know the play or haven't studied the play is they remember Marlon Brando yelling, Stella! Yeah. Um, but, but even even that, it's, it's one of the greatest American plays sure. ever written. So, yeah, it was intimidating. But I, I tell you, at this point in the game, you really, all of us have kind of found our own voice and, yeah. and, and found out what this interpretation is. And it's, it's been amazing. So, so how does pa He's packing the house. Yeah. The reviews have been great. And I think I might know why you're packing the house. Everybody take a look at this clip. Uh-oh. Lara, what are you doing? <laughs> You know, it's hard to stay looking fresh. Why I haven't even washed or powdered my face, and here you are. Oh. You know, you can catch cold sitting around in damn things. Especially when you've been exercising hard like bowling is. Yeah. Gratuitous. That was just absolutely gratuitous. I've got <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got nothing. You know, I, I read the script and my wife said, if you have to take your shirt off, don't have a six, don't, don't have a, a juice pack going out. Come on, just Go don't embarrass it. yourself. Just, just. Have, you, uh, have you read Fifty Shades of Grey there? Blair? Okay. I have not, but it's all the, all, the, all the women in the cast are reading it backstage. Would, would it surprise you if I said that somebody was your, it's not, that you're the big celebrity crush of somebody I knew? Just yeah, somebody but it's not a Fifty Shades. If you haven't read the book, please don't say that. Oh, <laughs> 